What is up guys, welcome back to another video here in Bangkok, Thailand. I wanna talk about traveling and how much it costs. A lot of people think traveling is expensive, but in this video I wanna compare my traveling expenses versus what it costs me just to live stationary in the States. I think you guys are gonna be surprised by the huge difference in cost and savings. The amount of money I'm saving by literally traveling and living in a different country versus being back at home in the US. But first we're gonna get some food, we're gonna take it back, and we'll talk about it. So this stand right here, guys, I've eaten here probably about five times. The food is really good, it's really cheap. You guys can see 40, 60, 50 baht for a meal, and it's delicious. So I'm gonna figure out what I wanna eat today. I'm gonna take it back to the site and enjoy it. So I just ordered this right here. It's like spicy red curry with chicken. And right at this stand, I mean, they cook the food fresh right in front of you on these grills and stuff and skillets. So they got it, they just cook all the food right there. It's delicious here. I've had pretty much, I've eaten the pad thai and I've also had fried rice from here. Honestly, I might end up eating both. I'm a little hungry right now, so we'll see. But yeah, the food is delicious. Let me get you guys a close up and show you guys exactly as so we can see they cook the food right in front of you. Far. One of my favorite things about Thailand um, is the delicious, can't talk, is the delicious street food that you can get at minimal cost. I mean, we're talking about 50 baht for a meal, which is the US equivalent, basically a dollar 30 to a dollar 50 cents. Obviously, currencies are changing every day as far as like its exchange value, but pretty much that's what 50 baht is. So there's nowhere in the US that you're going where you're getting like fresh pad thai or fried rice or any of these dishes for a dollar anything, right? If we're talking pad thai in the US, we're gonna be talking about at least probably $8, I wanna say. I haven't had pad thai in the US in a, in a, in a while, but I'm gonna say at minimum eight, eight, um, $8. And even if you were to cook it yourself, there's no way you're gonna even cook pad thai for yourself at home for $8. But out here in Thailand, it's not even really worth cooking, which is why most apartments don't really come with like full out big kitchens, is because it just makes much more sense to eat. And the food is one of those expenses that we're talking about when it comes to traveling. Being in an, this, um, you know, being in an Asian country where the dollar goes further, is that I'm saving money just by literally off of food here. Let's say if I was in the U.S., if I wanted to spend ten dollars, which you can still spend ten dollars out here in a meal. Don't get me wrong. There are places where you go where it's more tourism and other, you know, uh, restaurants where you'll pay equivalent to a U.S. cost to eat out. But if you know how to eat like a local and eat at street food, then you will save a lot of money. And you can have your average meal for about $1.50 per meal, $2, $2 per meal. And in comparison to the US, I mean, my average meal in the US costs about $15, I'm being honest. Every time I ate out, I probably spent close to probably $12 to $15. And sometimes if I, if I wanted something very specific, I might end up spending close to $20 or more. So by being here, that's one of the savings that we experience is the food costs, fresh, cooked, delicious street food for minimal cost. And that's one of the things I'm enjoying about being out here in Thailand is, you know, is that I get, I don't have to worry about cooking and I have delicious food made by very kind people who know what they're doing. Cop and cop. All right guys, so here we go. It's a delicious curry meal. 50, I think this is actually, this was only 40 baht. So why I indulge in this meal, I'm not just gonna talk about those costs. So, I've been talking about moving to Thailand for quite some time. And when I say move, what I want you guys to understand, I, don't, I haven't really moved to Thailand. I'm taking on a digital nomad life to where I'm basically living wherever I want to live. So I'll be jumping around from different countries and different parts of different countries and getting a feel for the culture and the lifestyle. There, with the digital nomad life, there is no one specific location that you're attached to unless you change your mind. Now, you can be somewhere for six months, a year. I'll probably spend, you know, at least three months here in Thailand um, before I venture out to other countries and whatnot. But I decided to make this move finally 
after realizing like yo like what am I doing you know like there's more out there to see um, to experience I feel like life is something to be experimented with and you don't want what you like to try it and also just the American dream right the hustle and bustle of you know attainment and trying to get more and more and more you know get this type of car get this apartment so you know before I left the US you know I've, I've driven luxury cars you know I've owned luxury cars I've uh, had a nice apartment but it was like it, you know I didn't feel any more fulfilled having those things right and I, and I realized, you know, like, why? I feel like I'm wasting my money. I'm wasting my time. So my apartment in the U.S. cost about, before I left, was costing me, I had added a garage, $1,500 a month for just the apartment, about $70 to $100 a month in electricity costs. Then groceries, I'm probably going to say anywhere from probably a minimum of $500 on up. I don't know how much I spent. I really didn't track it between groceries and eating out. I, I probably spent a lot more than five hundred dollars. Probably close to like maybe maybe eight hundred to more. Then my car, nope. Plus insurance, we're talking about close to six hundred, basically six hundred dollars. Gas, probably another like two hundred, three hundred dollars a month. Um, I mean, I could go on with expenses. To compare now that I'm like living a digital nomad life here in Thailand, the place I'm renting right now, which I could have got a lot cheaper, but I paid five hundred dollars basically for the whole month. Mind you, you can find nicer, better places for $200, $300, $400 a month. But if we're comparing to what I was paying in the US, I'm paying a third. And I'm still right now, I probably paid too much. I could have got cheaper, right? Um, so I no longer have a car, car payment, car insurance. Um, I no longer have the expensive rent. My food costs are down dramatically, right? I don't grocery shop anymore as of right now. I, you know, I just eat out. I don't own a car. Ubering. So Ubering around Thailand, which is not called Uber here. They have Grab. Grab is their version basically of a, it's an Uber alike, right? And um, my average ride around the city from one destination to the next is about 50 to 100 baht. 50 baht is $1.50. And um, I think like 100 something baht. I've, I'm averaging about between a dollar fifty to two dollars fifty cent per ride. There's like, if I was in the U.S. and needed to use Uber, even if I need to go a few miles down the road, I'm not paying any less than probably ten to fifteen dollars on the cheaper end, and on up from there. This is pretty good. So we got some red curry chicken, some green beans. Over some over some uh, white rice. Hmm. But the point of this is is that traveling is really about the experience you're trying to get out of it. Because since I've been here, pretty much my most expensive part of coming here was probably the flight, which I paid, I think, $550 to get here. But now that I'm here in Asia, my cost of living is down dramatically. Now, you can spend the U.S. equivalent, even though things are cheaper here, if you don't live like a local. If you want to live like you're in the U.S. and like you just see it as, I can get more for my money, perfectly fine you know go get you a very nice luxury apartment it'd be very nice like if I got <clears throat> excuse me if I try to get an apartment for the same price I was paying in the US I would be living like a king here I mean I could get a very very nice place for the same US equivalent price so when it comes to to traveling one is about where you're going your dollar goes further in Asian countries so Vietnam is a equivalent uh, pricing our uh, cost of living is here you have uh, Bali uh, you also have there's Laos and Cambodia close but I'm not I'm not familiar with their cost of living you have the Philippines and even if you don't want to come this far right this was a 15 hour plus flight to get here Mexico Playa del Carmen you can rent an Airbnb I was just looking at this morning Airbnbs Playa del Carmen for a whole month I think the lowest I've seen was probably about $200.
for like a private room and if you want to like have your own like your own place 350 375 one up so really if you want to travel for a living your issue isn't really that traveling is expensive you have to figure out how can i make money on the on remotely right how can i make money on the go and there's so many ways to do that and that's not really what this video is about so i'm not really gonna get into that much i'm just gonna i'll give you a couple things that you know about like building a youtube channel and depending if you're in the right niche youtube needs a point where it pays you enough money to cover your expenses like living somewhere like here as well as selling your own digital products i've made my own courses and ebooks and actually just shameless plug i just dropped a new ebook right here it teaches you how to take your knowledge and put it into a book and start begin to you know make money off of it and share your knowledge with the world so if you want it you can copy it link is in the description it's pay whatever you want so literally i mean like whatever you want to pay for it is up to you i don't really care i want you to have it though so you can learn and you diversify you know build income streams you can travel but just remember if you want to travel on a budget then make sure that you're when you come to these places you aren't like oh the meals are only a dollar fifty so i'm gonna have 20 meals a day now you want to live the key to saving money and being able to travel affordably is wherever you go live like a local does you know especially if you're in an area like this you know the problem is traveling is expensive because people travel to these places they book the five-star hotels and eat the nicest restaurants and nothing wrong with that if you want to do it but of course your cost is going to be higher living like that versus actually living like a local eating the street food you know staying at certain places like every, you know everything doesn't need to be like super luxury expensive but that's just my two cents on that guys like traveling is literally saving me money money versus what you might think like oh it costs so much you're so lucky and privileged no i'm not spending that much money to to do what i'm doing right now it's actually i'm spending less money so it's really all about perspective so i must say i just cleared my plate and this this was quite delicious very it seemed like a simple but flavorful meal i added a little bit of this right here to add a little more spiciness to it i like spicy but now i'm just gonna walk to a coffee shop spend the rest of the day get some work done and see what else the day brings us so far in my two weeks being here the thai people have been lovely um i felt you know very comfortable here and treated fairly and nice you know i don't feel weird at all so i must say i'm enjoying the thai culture everyone is just you know very friendly out here along with delicious food i feel like everyone out here can make a good meal everywhere you turn your head you'll find a different uh street vendor serving up some flavorful delicious <laughs> i said delicious some flavorful delicious i meant to say some flavorful dishes <laughs>